Saturday morning, 9.55. have been uh, uh, waking up, going back to sleep, waking up, going back to sleep for the last, like, six hours, I mean, three hours. I've really been up since about 5.30, 6, so I just kept going back to sleep, and it's been nice, a good way to, uh, <laughs> to cure your hangovers just to sleep so we're gonna go ahead and get some leftover steak cooking for breakfast we're gonna have some eggs with that I don't eat eggs as John so steak and eggs it is Hey guys, so we have some Steelers gear on. Got some views. Got my big girl pants on. Um, so we're gonna get ready to head out. I'm gonna pick up some sneakers from Foot Locker because I need new shoes. And then um, I don't know, we're gonna hang out, check out the strip, and then the game starts at 7:30 tonight, so. We'll be back and get ready for that, get my jersey, and head out. I'm having to get my foot measured looks like nine eight eight to nine <laughs> baby like, look I'm telling you your foot is nine I mean eight and a half yeah he's right last time we bought shoes I swore I could fit him and then I was walking around like a duck so and yeah you kept and yeah you was tripping over foot so he's gonna bring out some uh, cute nikes that I'm looking at. Let me show you right now. These are it. I thought I got them both on. Yeah, these are cool. Yeah. So we got the shoes and we're getting ready to head out. Probably get something to eat. I'm hungry. So we made it back. We're changing into our gear and getting ready to head over to the stadium. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I have for the game. Got my new kicks on. <laughs> Went with shorts because it is hotty. It's hot. And I'm uh, gonna keep this cute little Steelers top one. And then put my Steelers hat back on. So. This is the look for today. Booby chip. Boop, 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 boop. We've made it to the stadium. Dave is so excited. This is his first Steelers game, and he's been a Steelers fan for how long, babe? A long time. Forever. <laughs> since I was born. <laughs> so uh, we're, we parked, and now we're just going to go hang out and check out the pro store here and see what they have out here they got the towels look yeah, look at the towel, towel mask <laughs> smells french fries and they driving me wild lord help me also the sealers are excited to announce mobile oh, ordering it's super simple to use uh, and for your convenience on game day here at Heinz Field simply 
simply go to the Steelers app on your mobile phone and on that main page, go to the More tab in the bottom right corner. That 28, along okay. with any concierge guests in the clubs and suites. <laughs> Lord, I lost my balance. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Finally made it. So, we're about to eat some wings and beer. They did not have Michelob, so we ended up getting some Bud Light. <laughs> How we doing? I appreciate you guys coming out here to support us. It means the world to us. Sorry for reading off this card, but I have to touch on my thank yous. Thank you to PNC for the honor of repping Hall of Famer Joe Green. Thank you, Mr. Rudy, Kevin Colbert, Coach T, and my teammates. Put this card down. Thank you guys for coming out. You guys are the best fans in the NFL. You guys know that already. And thanks to you guys, the Detroit Lions have a big old goose egg on the scoreboard. So thank you for that. I hope all of you guys, I'm gonna make sure I do you guys proud all season long. Especially the ones who are wearing the Atlanta jersey. And uh, make sure you cop your Maple Chalk merch. TeamClayble.com. Go to you. Let's have a big hand for Chase. Very cool. So we were able to get some of these burgers cooking. It is 123. We were able to get some of these burgers cooking. <laughs> Um, it is very late at night. We have to be up by 8.30. Good. These are some good burgers. The quality is very good. Flavor is delicious. Tenderness. Um, nice. I didn't overcook them. A little pink. Very good. Then we have the maple um, whiskey flavor burgers, which are really good too. Um, the Wah burgers too, right? Or the other, the maple? John, John said the whiskey burgers taste more like sausage. I caught, I kind of got that vibe too. But overall, they're both of them are pretty good, right? Yes. Wild burgers are better. Hey guys, so we made it back home, back to the old dirty, old nineteen hundred and something old kitchen and apartment <laughs> that I think the Lord for because I'm grateful to have it but we're working on some upgrades we're going to be getting out of here real soon but thank you guys for coming along with us on our trip made it back home safe game was great everything was good Steelers won Steelers won <laughs> um yeah and if you see that fight that happened between the lady and the guy I don't know what happened we were there for that I didn't get it on video, but I saw where the commotion was going on. It was on the other side. Yeah, crazy if you see that on. You probably see it on Instagram, probably TikTok. I don't know. Yeah. But, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. And, uh, yeah, so we're uh, right now we're going to cook up some seafood and stuff and chill and get ready for a good old Monday. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys, I'm going to put some footage of some of the crazy people people we met. Um, well, one particular one. <laughs> he was funny. But we met them at the bar. So stay tuned. Hey, 
take somebody and just do like that. And it just be perfect. This little part right here is vibing. And it's not big at all. It was like so small, and then I have a few people playing the ping uh, pong, whatever the hell it is. I do, but anything that you do, you take two steps forward, you fucked up. But if you always take two steps backwards, it's easier to go forward. So if your truck comes tomorrow, you motherfucking, you're doing it. Inside door got a flat tire. So you go, uh, you motherfucking fight. Uh, boom, I hit it, it's fine. But it fucks your whole day up. But if you take two steps backwards, it's a lot easier to go forward. I mean, if you look at the big picture, well, it's not it, you're talking about, you're talking about visualizing, like, visualizing where you have to go forward. Right. I, I can relate but, to I that. mean, because I'd be like, what? 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, okay. But if you go backwards, if you go backwards, like, seriously, if you go backwards, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier as a human being, as a black man or a woman or whatever, if you go backwards to go forward. If you go forward, like, no, fuck you. No, I swear to goodness, I'll break the brick that's off your motherfucking ass. But you can't come back. But if you go backwards, you can kind of have forward. that little time right. to see. And, and analyze. If you analyze the big picture, Michael Jackson made that song for a reason. Can't with us no more. You gotta think about the overall picture. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not preaching, but at the end of the day, you gotta be with you. Yeah, I mean, you have to analyze, analyze yourself. You know what I mean? You gotta get you put yourself in a, in, a, in, a, in a straight era. And what I always say, there's like streets. You go down the street, like you said. You go down the street. Right now you go down the street. You be like, oh man, I can't believe. No, in the white neighborhood, it's a cul-de-sac. But when you go down another, it's a loop. What the fuck? It's the same motherfucker. Motherfucker, it's a loop. Get the fuck shut! It's a, I got a back. It's a, it didn't say the outlet. Right. Fix them. Right. Exactly. So, at the end of the day, whoo! <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus, I'm right. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.